Well, this week has been filled with major headlines in the U.S. and around the world. One America's Rachel Asenis takes us through the top stories in our Week in Review. The week begins in New Jersey. The person suspected of killing the son of a federal judge overseeing a Jeffrey Epstein case is found dead by an apparent suicide. Also that day, Congress back to work. The lawmakers are returning to Capitol Hill after a roughly two week recess. Tuesday. It will probably unfortunately get worse before it gets better. President Trump hosts a coronavirus press briefing. Plus, tensions between the U.S. and China escalate after documents are burned inside the Chinese consulate in Houston Tuesday following the U.S. announcement of its closure. Midweek, federal agents will be sent to more U.S. cities to fight violent crime as President Trump announces the expansion of Operation Legend. Plus, the Portland mayor is hit with tear gas deployed by federal agents while clashing with protesters on the streets. Thursday, the White House and GOP leadership reach a fundamental agreement on the next coronavirus relief package. Also that day, there's nothing more crowded than a convention. President Trump cancels the GOP convention in Jacksonville, Florida, citing the coronavirus. And baseball begins with no fans in stadiums due to COVID-19. Major League Baseball kicks off with opening day. Finally, on Friday, President Trump signs four executive orders aimed at lowering prescription drug prices. Plus, <laughs> the president honors Olympian and former Congressman Jim Ryan, the Medal of Freedom. Rachel Asenas, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.